Hi guys, welcome back to the Plant-Based Chow. I'm Holly Gramling. And today we are going to make a lentil enchilada pasta. So I wanted the flavor of um, enchiladas tonight, but I didn't really want to make the tortillas and the, all the um, red sauce and all that kind of stuff. Um, I felt like this recipe was going to be a little bit quicker. However, prepping kind of proved that it's not really any quicker, but I'm still excited to, um, to try it out. So come on over here and take a look at our ingredients that we're going to be using for today. Um, so first here we have one cup of bell pepper, diced up small. Sorry, that's my puppy um, shaking his ears around. <laughs> Um, here we have three uh, celery stalks. They were probably about six inches long each. Um, and then I just diced them up into small pieces. Here we have six cloves of garlic. And then one cup of red onion, all cut up small. Those are our vegetables. Here are for our spices, we have cumin. This is um, about two teaspoons, I think it was. Um, here is chili powder and I started with two and a half tablespoons but you can use up to four tablespoons it's up to you um, I just don't like making it too spicy because of the kids so I started with two and a half I'll try it about halfway through and um, see if we need to add more here we have nutritional yeast and this is probably a this is a little over a quarter cup um, again, you can use up to a half a cup of this, but since I'm using the powder and not the flakes, I'm just going to start with a little over a quarter of a cup, and then from there I can add more if need be. And then here in this is paprika, and this is about a teaspoon, um, a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. Um, over here, we have two and a half cups of vegetable broth. Four cups of cooked lentils and then here I have four cups four and a half cups of crushed tomatoes um, I actually didn't have any crushed tomatoes I only had diced so I just measured them out put them in this bowl and took my potato smasher and smashed them up just a little bit smaller to make that work okay so those are our ingredients. Also, you're gonna want about 16 ounces of pasta. I used penne pasta. Um, cook that according to the box and go ahead and get that prepared. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna take our celery, bell pepper, onion, and garlic, and we're gonna head over to the stove. So, pick these up, come on over. So I have my pan here ready and I'm going to add one third cup of water into the pan and I almost forgot to grab my broth here and then take a quarter cup of your broth so far and add that into the pan as well. And actually I just realized <laughs> that I'm doubling this recipe. So I'm going to have to do that again. I'm doubling this recipe because the original recipe only made about, uh, only fed about three people. We have four in our house. Plus, we want enough for leftovers for lunch tomorrow. And I figure um, most people are more than likely cooking for at least four people, most families. All right. So I got the water and the broth in the pan. I'm gonna add the bell pepper, the celery, onion and garlic. All right. Then we're gonna stir, give this a stir. And then we're just going to give this some time to cook and wait until the onions and the celery are a little translucent um, and a little soft. So come on in here, Jericho, and show them what it looks like so far in the pan. So just everything's incorporated. 
enough liquid in there to um, to really cook this down. And this is going to take um, probably about eight, maybe ten minutes. Okay, so now our vegetables in here are pretty well cooked down and soft. Come on in and take a look at them. They're nice and cooked down, soft. Most of the liquid is um, cooked out of them. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to add almost everything else. So we have the four cups of lentils. I'm going to add those in. The crushed tomatoes as well. all of our spices here and actually there's one thing that I somehow missed to tell you guys we have four tablespoons of whole grain flour so um, yeah I forgot to tell you about that but we're gonna add all of the rest of these spices the flour the nutritional yeast the chili powder the paprika and the cumin and of course you can add um, you can add about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt to this if you want um, and a little bit of pepper. I don't like to add those in right away. I kind of like to add it toward the end to see um, how much of that we actually need. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of mix this all up and get this all the flavors in here and bring this to a boil. Once it is boiling you're going to want to turn the heat down to a simmer and let it simmer for about eight minutes. Okay, we're back. So this has been simmering for the last eight minutes and getting thickened up and getting all the flavors all mushed together and making it so yummy. So now what I can do is go ahead and add my pasta to that or you can also just have people dish out what they want um, instead of mixing them together just separately. But I'm going to go ahead and mix these two together. My pasta has been done for a while so it's kind of all stuck to the calendar. That's all right. And then once it gets in here and gets all wet again it will break apart a lot easier. All right. So we're going to go ahead and mix this in. This made a lot which I'm really, really happy about. That means we're going to get leftovers. So Jericho, come on in. Show them what this is looking like. It is beautiful. It looks so good. I know that, um, you know, my camera and the lighting probably doesn't ever do the, the food that we make any justice because I'm telling you, it's beautiful and it smells so, so good. All right. So... That's all mixed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some on a plate. And of course, this is a meal that is really good served with some greens, some mixed greens or a side salad or whatnot. So I do have a little bit of um, just some romaine lettuce that I um, cut up here. I would also suggest maybe a mixed green, uh, greens of all kinds of different lettuces and, and things like that. But this is just what I had for now, so this is what I'm using. So, I have that. Come on in, Jericho. Show them the final product of it. Pretty on the plate next to that, those green leaves. Yes, it's beautiful. Okay, one last note before we go is that, as you see, I have two cups of broth here still. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I did this, but I used... Um, to cook, to cook my lentils earlier, I used regular just water instead of my broth, and that's why I have this left over. So you're supposed to use the two cups of, of broth to make your lentils. And I just totally forgot or whatever, just got in the habit of things that I always do, and I just use regular water. So that's why I have this two cups left over. So make sure when you make your lentils, you're using those two cups to make your lentils. It will help them come out a little bit more flavorful, but I'm not even worried about it in this recipe because there's so much flavor and all that other sauce that um, the lentils are going to taste great. So if you're wondering, well, what happened to the other two cups of broth? 
there it is. So just a mistake that I've made in the kitchen today. Nothing new. I always tend to get a little bit ahead of myself and uh, forget exactly what I'm doing. So anyway, thank you for joining me on this episode of the Plant Based Chow. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, see you next time. Bye. Yeah. All right, here's the boy and the girl trying the lentil enchilada pasta for the first time. Mm. Little Blaine, it's gonna need some salt. <laughs> <laughs> that was magical. <laughs> what do you think, Anania? It's really good. Would you ever mm. want mom to cook it again? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All right, tell everybody bye. 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 Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to add to at the end of this video is that um, when we were eating our dinner, I went ahead and opened up an avocado and put on top of the pasta, and which made the recipe so much better, so highly recommend it.